Hey, what's up guys? How's it going? I'm gonna quickly go over how to do a uh, kind of a very specially evil uh, jack lantern. So, or pumpkin, whichever. I'm gonna be using a Copec marker and I'm gonna be using marker for the whole thing. I'm gonna try not to trace in some lines, so bear with me on that. I'm gonna start with the pumpkin teeth. I'm going to make them especially long and spiky, like they're going to just tear you up kind of thing. And uh, a lot of these things are like big and small. That has to do with comparison. That's really how you, you know, can tell scale. I'm going to throw this because there's going to be a, a layer of uh, pumpkin itself where it was cut. I'm going to throw the bottom in there. And uh, in terms of scale, I'm going to make the eyes real small. That's what I mean by scale, to make the, the teeth portion really look larger. nose. You can throw the upper teeth in there if you want as well. Let's do that now. I'm going to make those upper teeth not as big. I'm going to make them zigzag a little. And then I'm going to throw the upper portion of the pumpkin. I'll throw a little bit of the rivets in the pumpkin itself. And uh, if you want, like, to make this image much more graphic, uh, well, also I gotta throw. I'm sorry, I forgot to throw the uh, the you know the kind of width of the upper teeth. If you want to make it very graphic, also hold on, let me throw the uh, stem. You could fill in the eyes to make them dark because we're not going to color this right now so it's going to be a little bit hard to kind of find the differentiate differences you know right now when I squint I don't see a graphic image so just to make it a little bit more clear I'm going to fill in the negative spaces Keep filling this in. It's like a coloring book. It's kind of you just kick back and do it. Sometimes that's my most uh, impatient moments. You know, you just want to get it done because there's no, there's not a whole lot of skill involved in the coloring it in part. I mean, there is, but not as much. It definitely is, but not not as much as actually drawing the coloring book itself, you know. Anyways, that's about it. That's a especially evil looking jack o' lantern. Thanks a lot, guys. I uh, really do appreciate it. Subscribe when you can, and I'll talk to you later.